Hey, Sleeping Amy family. Welcome back to the channel. We got all three of these. <laughs> VMAX Alden Arts in the back. We got that Leafeon back there. I think I'll switch on that Espeon for another one that I like. I kind of want to showcase them since I do have all of them now. I'm very excited for that. But today we're opening up some more Obsidian Flames and we're opening up some battle decks as well. These ones came out a while ago and there should be two coming out in September. But the two uh, packs are opening for Obsidian Flames, as well as a booster bundle, are these checkout lane blisters. They have these promo cards and the Sprigatito coin. So we have all three coins now. And the battle decks that we're opening are the Chin Pao and the Tinkaton. And we will go into the Chin Pao one first. So these actually do come with promo cards as well, as well as the, I feel like the Chimpao one, it's just going to be this top card, the main card of the deck. And we'll look through the deck as well. They do come with all the markers and such, since it's kind of a starter deck, and it comes with a green, I'll show you guys on the back a green EX coin in there as well. But it comes with all that for you to just start playing. It's This is a ready-to-made deck. You can always uh, adjust it, edit it. I would suggest it just because you're probably only gonna get one Chen Pao in here. And we will sleeve it up. And it is a promo. The art on it is slightly different from the regular Chen Pao. But it does say promo at the bottom, and so that one will go in with the Paldea Evolved binder I have. <laughs> and the deck is a, a water deck. So you get all this water energy, and you get the supporters that go in there. So you get Nimona, you get Great Ball, Artivax, I'm sure it's gonna have, yep, the Frigivax and Baxcalibrilon. You get Buzil in there, Meryl. These are just some one prize or Pokemon they put in there that go with the water deck that I'm sure are somewhat playable. You got the Baxcalibur, the Floatzel, yep. It's one of those that more water energy attached to it, the more damage it's gonna do. The Zumarill, again, it's just a one prizer. And then you got Delibird for some draw support if you have it as an attack. And then you have some other uh, supporters as well as trainers. And I don't see people use the Pokegear 3.0 too much. But I think this helps pull those supporters out that you're going to need. So you got all these items. And you got Bruxish in here as well. And it's just to get that energy. Again, it's to help pull that energy out so you can charge up the Chen Pao, which is going to be, like I said, one in there. So I think to make this deck more effective, you could take out some of the one prizes like the Meryl, and the Bruxish, and probably the, which one was it? The Deli Bird. Definitely the Deli Bird and the Bruxish. You can put two more Chen Pao in there. But I definitely see this deck being edited more towards what people are playing Chen Pao now which is a Baxcalibur Palkia deck with Chen Pao in it. That one seems to be the most effective for Chen Pao. Not that I'm gonna play it. <laughs> I do see how effective it is and you do need to have Chen Pao in that active in order to use that ability, which is a pretty good ability, I do have to say. It puts two energy, water energy into your hand and just pairing that with the back scalper makes it very good. But that is the only promo card in with the Chip Pow deck. And we're gonna go into the Tinkaton next. Try to slide these up over here. The Tinkaton may have more than one promo in it. Like if you guys saw me showcase the Ampharos, the Ampharos uh, EX battle deck also had more than just one promo in it. It was more than just the Ampharos. It also had a Flaffy, which there were a couple of Flaffy in there. But you have this Tinkaton, 
which I think pair the Tinkaton deck with the Tinkaton from Base Set, I believe. It's actually pretty good for a deck. I've won it up against it a couple times in TCG Live, and just having that hand build up on you, which charges Tinkaton's uh, attack, it, it's very good. <laughs> it, it can it can knock you out pretty quick. But that's where it comes in handy if you have like Iono or Judge to help reset that hand in order to disrupt that Tinkaton's ability or its attack, because then it can't hit you as much. Um, but let's see, we got Psychic Energy. This is gonna be probably a straight Psychic deck. So a good combat to it be like a dark deck if you made it. So I guess the new Charizard would be, you know, a pretty good uh, counter to it. And then you have your Tinkatinks. You have Drifloon in here. And not sure why yet. <laughs> Again, we got the supporter Nimona in our Great Ball. So you can pull out this Pokemon. We got our Tinkatuff. And we got Drifblim. I think it's maybe just a psychic Pokemon that you can use and you can just put eight damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. But it might just be one of those one prizers that's put into these battle decks. The Espathra. Again, it's one of those one prizers that does okay. It's and you could definitely probably switch it out. And you got Youngster, Nestball, Pal Pad. I'm actually gonna go back. Then we got Squawkabilly. The Squawkabilly, you only want one in your deck because you can only use, well actually this is not even the EX, never mind. But it's just a call for family. This one you can just pull basic Pokemon out of your deck. There's a few cards like this, this call for family. Eevee is actually one of them. But there was a few of them that came out in Paldea Vault. Now let's go back to the Tinkatink. So these are not promos. I'm gonna look and see if we see any promos in here. That would be different. I wonder why they would have changed it for Flappy. So we got Tinkatuff, those aren't promos. So it might just be, yeah. I think it's just gonna be the Tinkaton. So this time they did not do a promo card of the mid evolution um, like they did with Flappy. Sometimes I'll notice it in uh, Poco Vector as well. That's the one I use to keep up, to keep track with promos in Scarlet and Scarlet Violet, but I kind of noticed that. I was like, maybe there's a promo in there, maybe not. But I guess in this one there's not. So that's okay. Uh, we did get the two promos. That's why I'm getting the battle decks, trying to get all those promos from Scarlet and Violet as well, and putting them with the respective sets as they come out. So these will go in the Paldea Vault Binder. But yeah, <laughs> the regular Tinkaton from base set has a gathering materials ability and it helps the draw support. It helps pull cards from your deck so you add it so you kind of have like I think either uh, one or two of those uh, Tinkaton to have on your bench and then you have the Tinkaton EX to attack. I think you just need one but I think I've seen sometimes seen two. It all depends you can add other Tinkatink or Tinkatuff cards that are different in there so you can maximize the amount of maximize that deck with Tinkaton and Tink the entire line. That's just up to you. <laughs> okay, so let's get into these checkout lane blisters. And we'll go with the Paldean Wooper first. So these I also picked up while I was visiting my Mudkip. We got one of them at his card shop. They did not have the Wooper, so we went and found that one at Walmart. But it's awesome that we have all three of these coins now. So with this set, we now get Sprigatito, and where we have Quaxley and Play Coco before, so now we have all the starters in coins. And we get this nice Paldean Wooper promo. He looks so happy in his nap on the swamp. So, and again, I love that hollow foil pattern. Let's open our pack and see what we can get. 
And then we'll go into that pot again. Okay. Turn on right. We'll go ahead and do the pad trick on this one. Um, when I open up that the booster button, no, I won't do the pad trick. Let's see. We got Frogadier, Drampa, Espeon, Altaria, Lampent, Victini EX. That is a good one. This is one I think I've pulled before. So definitely be putting that one into the trade binder. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you guys also seeing that Espeon, were able to find some of those promos over the weekend. Or if you're able to find them now, I did go to one GameStop and they actually got them in like last Thursday, but they had already run out. So those were the Umbreon ones. The Espeon ones come from Best Buy. So hopefully they have some there. And we got Palmy, one of my, probably my favorite uh, <laughs> Scarlet Violet Pokemon. It was one that was kind of warmed up to and just it, Palmy, Palmo, Palm Online, I just really love. <laughs> I like that it's electric fighting. And I wonder if we'll get a fighting uh, Palma at some point if we'll do that instead of just an electric one. And so we have this one here. And again, I love the hollow foil pattern on it. Whoops. But we did get a Palma EX card in Obsidian Flames this time, which is awesome. Okay, one in the front and let's see what we can pull. Did I pick out good Check out Lane Blisters. I did on the first one. <laughs> we have Belly Bolt, Toxtricity, Gita, <laughs> Gita SIR. Oh my gosh, we did pick out a good one. <laughs> Gita SIR into a Gilmora. All right, that's pretty fitting. <laughs> that is very fitting for this pack. <laughs> a Gita and a Gilmora. <laughs> I have pulled this Gita quite a few times. I'm guessing you guys will see it from the booster box opening that I did with my my gift. We pulled several of them and I've pulled that one already. So it's probably the fourth time that we've pulled that card. <laughs> That's too funny. And the fact that the Gilmore was behind it is just perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use my Sylveon pen real quick to bust this open. And we will Open up this booster button. Maybe there'll be something good inside. Something we don't have. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to just go ahead and pop those six packs right there. And get right into it. And I've been having fun in some Hogwarts Legacy. I think I posted up a couple pictures on my Twitter. But yes, I'm having so much fun playing that game. I'm gonna go back and retry this one quest. Um, I accidentally exited out of it, and I think I was like middle of the way through it. It's a quest that you're going into the restricted section of the library. You guys know where that is. But I'm having a ton of fun. I already got my wand, which I was super excited for. Uh, the fun part was being able to pick out the different styles to it. So, <laughs> I, I didn't know that, but I already knew my wand since I kind of linked it with my account. Varoom! All right! Absolutely, yes! All right, another banger pack right here. Oh man, I cannot get enough. I love that Absol card. I do. And we got Varoom, which is, of course, duplicates. We got this one already as well. I have to move that palmy. So up so I can get to the play mat. Move that one over. Put Palmy next to the chim pal. Room here. Alright, so we actually had some good packs. I was afraid we weren't gonna get uh, too much out of those. Well, I was afraid we weren't gonna get anything out of the checkout lane blisters, so that was awesome. <clears throat> that blew my expectations away. <laughs> okay. But I do want to visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at some point, and I would love to get my exact wand that I've had now in Hogwarts Legacy and what 
was assigned to me, was picked for me in a uh, in the Wizarding World fan club. <laughs> I'm a big Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I do have Harry Potter fans. There is actually one pin I would like to find. It is an Eevee pin with that has Eevee dressed up as Harry Potter. I think I've seen it a couple times in. Uh, Makari, I'm probably gonna try to look for it in Etsy and see if I can't find it. It's really cute. We got Cryogonal into a Scizor. <laughs> but yes, big Harry Potter fan. I do have one pen on my bag so far. That's uh, the houses and it's got the starters on the Hogwarts uh, emblem. <laughs> and, uh, I did show my Mike Kip the Charmander light I have, and he of course asked where was Squirtle was. I've had that, it's one of those click on lights, I've had that for a long time. I've wanted to get the other three to go with it. It's sitting up next to the... <laughs> oh, Gilmore EX, we needed this one! Uh, the light's sitting next to the game. <laughs> That's why. But we got Gilmore full art! Yes, we needed this one. I think this was, is the last full art Pokemon I need. We still need two more trainers, the Ortega and uh, Gita, I believe. But that's awesome. Okay, we're down to our last pack here. <laughs> but we had some very, very good luck. We got two full arts out of that booster bundle. Um, let me slide this one over. These are what we got from our booster bundle so far. All right, let's see if we can get some last pack magic. But we actually did really good on that one. <laughs> And we are going to boop Evie and Mike Hip and the little sleepy Evie back there. <laughs> and let's see what we can get in this last pack. So we have Drillbur, Wishcash, Floatzel, Umbreon, Linoon, Numel, and to a Toxtricity. No last pack magic, but we did really well. We got those two full arts and that Varum from the Booster Bundle, the Victini from One Checkout Line Blister, the Gita SIR, and the Gilmora out of the other Checkout Line Blister. So it's definitely a little bit themed towards Gita this time. <laughs> but that was really, really good opening. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, <laughs> showcasing those battle decks. And whenever the next two come out, which should be Quackaball and Meow Scrota, I will do a showcase of those as well. <laughs> so if you guys would, hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and I should have my giveaway ongoing. I believe I'm going to pick the winner on Saturday. So if you guys are not yet in my giveaway, go to my Twitter. It's just on Twitter this time. It's giving away a EV three pack of Obsidian Flames. EB is the promo, so it's very big. But again, I appreciate you guys so much, so, so much. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.